All right, guys, welcome to Hutch's Welding, and today we're gonna show you how to build an X-pipe. We have our BMW M760i. We're gonna be replacing this center section with the custom stainless steel one. Um, we're gonna be getting rid of these resonators and this X pipe box thing. And we're going to be uh, straight piping it through here and building our own X pipe here. So we're gonna show you the process of building an X pipe and doing all the fabrication required. So let's come on over here. Do, 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 so we have our material from Stainless Bros. These pieces uh, I personally really like because they already come cut. So you have your elbows, 45s or 90s. In this case, we're gonna be using all 45s. They're already, uh, they're already cut and some straight. We have some V-bands as well. I particularly like to use these because they're uh, a nice quick release setup. Just makes install. So we're gonna be building our own X-pipe. There's many different ways to do this. A way I like to do it is I actually created a fixture for it. I built this to be able to use a, a mandrel bend. Fortunately, they didn't have any available, so we're just gonna kind of make uh, some extensions off of here. And then this will clamp on here and we're actually gonna put it on our bandsaw and we're gonna slice it. And we're gonna make our two sections of our X-pipe and then weld it together. So let's get started. This is the fixture that I have created that I fabricated to make X pipes. Um, this is a 45 that we installed on the fixture and we screwed the nuts and then it does things. Uh, there's a lot of different ways of doing this. Uh, you can use a vertical bandsaw, you can do it by hand. Um, this is just a way that I like to do it. So we got our, our two halves of our X-pipe now. We're gonna go ahead and put these girls together and weld it up. After we get this welded in, we'll start making our pieces. All right, so we got our X-pipe all welded up and now we're going to start fabricating. We have, uh, we added some V-bands on the factory front section and the factory rear section. So now this piece will be a removable mid-pipe. Uh, we started fabricating some straights coming off of that. We got our X-pipe, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fit it, and kind of place it, kind of figure out where we want it, and then start building, uh, kind of connecting the dots. The way I like to do it is kind of do a, like a like a start to finish, like an A to B, like you know, I created, you know, two, two points, you know, a start and a finish. Once you have that, you have your V-bands or your flanges where you want them or like a header or a muffler, you, you can start filling your blank space. Blank space, baby, like Taylor Swift. <laughs> Another important thing to do is there's, if there's any kind of factory braces or covers that are in the way, make sure to have those installed so that way you can work your way around them rather than having them be an afterthought. One thing I wanna add uh, on this X-pipe is you can see it's a very long, chamber I, I have a theory that the bigger the chamber in the merge I think it just sounds better you can do a lot of guys you know you can take a 90 and slice it kind of butt it up that works well but I've kind of developed a way to you know with the fixture to be able to slice this 45 you know as deep as I can to get as long as an X chamber as possible so can't wait to see what it sounds like so we have our X pipe all fabbed up and we have the back section attached to our v-bands so now we're gonna we're actually gonna weld this up really quick just so we ensure nothing really moves we're gonna do a little twist up and kick over and then some straights connect into that and then we'll be good to go All 
All right, so Keel did a fantastic job welding this all up. Uh, it stayed pretty tight. We put it right back in the same spot. So the way the uh, original exhaust was designed is it actually uh, kicked up and over this brace here. So we're gonna kind of mimic that and we're gonna take some of our 45s, maybe even cut one in half and kind of kick it up and rotate it to match over there. What, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure our center to center over here and then we're going to match that kick up. Alrighty, so we got our uh, we got our one side tacked up. You see, we had it to, we had it jog up and kind of kick over. We got plenty of clearance coming up around here. We're gonna finish up this side. That one fitted up and tacked in, and then uh, we'll do a test fit, and then we'll uh, get this thing all welded up. All right, we got our final piece tacked in. Final piece of the puzzle. We're gonna go ahead and get this all welded up and see what it sounds like. Alright, well that concludes our X-Pipe fabrication. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them below. Uh, if you like what you see, consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, we'll see you next time. We'll get this thing fired up and uh, see what it sounds like. Contract and expand. <laughs> Is that what a contract? I don't know. Fucking hair it was stupid looking. Anthony, how's my hair? <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs it up. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we're not professionals. Morgan Clark, help! <laughs>